Hi, I'm Joey Healy, celebrity eyebrow specialist and owner of the Joey Healy Eyebrow Studio in Manhattan. I'm here with Stephanie, and today we're going to show you some tips on how to prevent little red bumps when you're tweezing. Red bumps when you're tweezing really are the cause of a little bit of minor irritation and often sometimes ingrown hairs. That's when hairs that you pluck don't grow out of the, the follicle, out of the surface of the skin or the pore. They actually kind of get lodged underneath. So to prevent that, the first thing is you really want a great tool. This is the Elite Sculpting Tweezer. It's a um, my own tweezer. It's slanted and it's extremely precise. That's the first step is not having a tweezer that's dull or that you really don't feel like you have a handle on. When you tweeze, you want to pull each hair individually in the direction of hair growth. If you feel like your hair is really stubborn, you can use a, a warm compress, even just a, a washcloth in warm water to hold on the eye area for about 10 seconds to open up the pores. So that's one trick just to make it a little bit easier. Here with Stephanie, I'm just going to go in and individually take hairs one by one and give nice, strong, swift little pulls in the direction of hair growth. If you pull in the, the direction of hair growth, you'll cleanly remove each eyebrow hair and you won't be um, breaking them off, which is why you can have ingrown hairs. After you're done tweezing, you can always use a cold compress to then kind of close the pores. You can follow up with a little bit of witch hazel. Sometimes I'll just even take a Q-tip and I'll just kind of lightly dip it in witch hazel and I'll just take it across the brow. And that has antiseptic properties and that further will prevent little red bumps. But the real trick is the tool and the technique. I'm Joey Healy, the celebrity eyebrow specialist to the stars here with Stephanie, and that's just some tips on how not to get red bumps in your eyebrows.